Hey, what is up guys? It is Harrison Meyer on The One Entrepreneur Now. In this video, I want to talk to you guys about customer support, how to get the best customer support possible, and ultimately how to make customer support work for you. Now, keep in mind, it is their job to work for you. You, yes, they work for the company, but it is their job to resolve your issues. You are the ones paying hypothetically, their salaries. They want to make sure that you have a good customer experience, so you stick around longer, you give them a good review, and they progressively work through their chain in the corporate ladder. This is so critically important, but most of the time, most people go into customer support with a bad, sour, just mentality and ultimately go in there like they're supposed to fix their mistakes now yes that is true but i think we've all heard the terms you catch more flies with honey and i can tell you i used to call customer support all the time for a variety of different reasons i came from the it industry dealing with tons of different software tons of different hardware tons of different data sets and honestly i mean the the amount of information that i used to deal with is kind of astronomical and every company deals with their items, their goods, their, their products and services differently. So being able to maneuver and tweak and kind of jive around and, and really manipulate them to get what you want as fast as possible became kind of like an art. But there's a secret sauce to this art that I want to share with you guys. And that's, that secret sauce is literally you catch more flies with honey. Now, your customer service experience will start with typically a phone call, sometimes a robot online, but it's usually going to be a phone call. Now, if you go to the doctor's, and you tell them, hey doc, I'm having pain somewhere. That doctor is gonna say, okay, where? And you need to be able to describe the pain, right? And this is the exact first step that you're gonna go through when you're talking to customer service. That customer service person on the other end of the line, his first or her first job is to figure out what is the actual issue. So in order for you to get to where you need to go, you need to be able to communicate your issues effectively and clearly. This will immediately expedite the process and they will appreciate the fact that you know what you're talking about. I know it sounds kind of ridiculous, but if you can easily and clearly tell them, hey, I'm having an issue with my DNS settings, I can't figure this out. They know, oh, okay, this is a hosting question. Hey, I'm having an issue with the website. For some reason, it's not allowing me to do this and I know I can do this. Okay, great, that's a website issue. Hey, I'm having an issue with a product. All of these different things, these problems that you're gonna have are easily resolvable as long as they get to the right person in the company. Now, the problem that most people make is they go in with a piss poor attitude, they're sour, they're upset, and for good reason, it's not working the way it should or the way that you think it should. But that's okay, but that doesn't give you the right to be mean to customer service. You will have a much better experience if you are super nice to these people. Trust me, they hate hearing about this all day, every day anyway. But if you get to be super nice to them, they are the friendliest people ever. That is why they're in customer service. It is so rare that you get a upset and grumpy customer service person. So keep that in mind when you're going through this whole process. So number one, you have to be able to communicate clearly on what you need and who you need to speak to. Number two, if you've already been through this process and you're calling back or the solution they provided isn't the one that you're looking for, you need to tell that person when you first speak to them, hey, by the way, I got to level two support. I just called earlier. I'm, I'm still working with somebody. I need to speak to level two support. In customer service, there's typically three levels of support, sometimes more, but it's usually three. You have your base tier. They are there to fix your bumps, your bruises, the things that are pretty easy to resolve, but they still need to diagnose the issue. Then you have tier two support. This is typically a higher caliber level of support. These people are there to resolve advanced issues and then ultimately make the determination of one, can they resolve it themselves? Or two, they have to kick it up the food chain. Now, tier three is typically the bee's knees. They know everything, but because they're so good, they can only handle so much. And they're usually working on extremely complicated issues, whether it's an issue with the system or whether it's an issue with whatever you're working on, they need to be able to resolve these issues. And their time is extremely valuable to the company because they can only take up, it takes a long time to train these people, but they can only work with so many people per day. So chances are pretty good that you're working with tier one and tier two support. Now tier one is probably gonna be able to resolve a large majority of those issues. But once again, if you can't communicate clearly to what they're trying to ask you, and two, if you just are harassing these people and making their lives miserable, they are going to give you the worst support ever. It's kind of like going to a restaurant, and if you complain over every single thing and you're mean about it, I can almost promise you, you're going to wait much longer than the person that had a bad experience but was like, 
hey, I totally get it. It happens. I worked in the industry. Don't worry about it. It's all good. I totally get it. Just whenever you get the food, that'd be great. Those people that are super nice are going to get way better support. Now, I also promised you guys that I was going to talk about how you can make support work for you. Now, if you're able to effectively communicate, tell them where you need to go and get to that person that's going to be resolving your problems, they will work for you. So if you're having an issue and things like that, you need to express that to them. Express your frustrations nicely. Hey, look, I messed up. I really need help. I call GoDaddy all the time, whether it's an issue for a customer, whether it's an issue that that customer dug themselves, or I'm actually genuinely having an issue because their system isn't working the right way and I need a certain level of support. Hey, man, I messed up. I'm having a major issue. Can you help me out? I, I really appreciate it. Like, you have no idea the amount of stress that I have on me right now. I just need, I would love if you can help me out. They feel so much better when they're valued for their work. And on top of that, when you can communicate that, hey, you're having a problem, this is what you've tried to do, they now know, hey, out of their whole pie chart of things that could go wrong or things on how to fix your specific problem, they can say, oh, he did X, Y, Z. Okay, now I can pick up where Z ended and go through one, two, three. These are the things that you need to be able to communicate. And when you are super nice to people and you tell them the issue and why you're having that issue or how you got to that issue, they can then begin to work for you. So here's another great example. I was on Wix support today and we had a customer that never really got their website launched. They bought a premium plan. They bought a domain. They kind of made it work, but the website really wasn't a website, we'll call it. They called us up. They needed support. We ended up building and we're in the process of building them an entirely brand new website on a new platform called Editor X. Now, this is where this whole story has gotten us to. I spoke to the person. We resolved the issues. He told me not only why it was happening, but what I needed to do to fix my problem. But the reason why he was so nice was because I was super nice because I actually appreciated talking to somebody that liked their job and was super helpful and also knew what they were doing, which most customer service people know what they're doing. You just have to let them do their job. That's the key to this whole thing. Be super nice ask for their help and tell them why you got in this rut or how you got in this rut and how the solution that you're trying to get to let them go back marinate work on the problem and chances are pretty good if you're really nice to these people these people are going to go above and beyond to make sure that you got what you needed i got a follow-up email saying hey it was so great speaking to you you're so nice i really appreciate working with you if you ever need help feel free to reach out you can specifically ask for me these are the things that are going to make your customer experience journey so much better now you can also take this information and go back to your business. How could you make your customer service experience better? You service customers, you service their products, you service their goods. How could you make their experience better? Is it being super nice? Is it being able to communicate clearly on the problems that you have? Think about different ways that you can make their experience a level 10, a, a top notch experience and go above and beyond for those customers because they got into a problem. How did they get in the problem? And here's a little bit more advice that you guys probably weren't even ready for. Figure out the problem that people are asking you and then figure out how to solve it, not just for that person, but for everybody. Hence why I'm making this video. There's a lot of people that get caught in the customer support and customer service space where they, oh, I'm super frustrated with the person. Don't be, it's their job to help you fix it. But if you really mean, or you put a lot of pressure on these people, they can't operate the way they need to. We all understand that we operate probably at our best when we're not super stressed out. If you put a lot of stress on these people, they're super stressed about you and that shouldn't be the case. They're there to come in and save the day. They are basically superheroes in, an, in a different world. They are resolving your problems that you're having. Treat them as you would wanna be treated. That is the moral of this whole thing. If you treat these people the way that you wanna be treated, your customer service experiences will go so much better and you will get so much more out of the the customer service people they will go above and beyond they will give you extra resources they will give you extra attention they might even waive monthly fees for you over a certain period of time in this particular case i had a client who had bought a premium plan and a domain for like six months and we got a full refund i mean that's the best thing in the world so his website hasn't costed him a dollar until today even though it was live for six months because it was kind of an 
it was a jarbled mess until we took it over. And it was so bad that we had to rebuild a brand new website. We couldn't even work on that. So we got this person a six month refund. The customer service rep was so incredibly nice. Christian, you're the man. Thank you so much for making my day a million times better. And ultimately my customer was stoked. I, he's so excited that we get to build this. He can't wait to refer us out. That is how to leverage customer service to make you more money, to make you a better business and ultimately to make their lives so much easier. Go do it. I promise you it's going to work. I hope you guys found value in this. If you are a customer service rep person, you're the best. I appreciate you every time. I will always address myself. And if you're if, if that's one of you, you should like and share this video out because maybe I'll make your life easier. I hope I conveyed the best possible information here. Comment down below if you guys found value in this. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Little notification bell. I'll see you guys later. Bye.